Blessed be my witches, my spiritualists, and welcome to another episode of Witch Pleases. I, Odin the Seer. And today we are doing the second part to my ink series. And we are going to be making Dove's Blood Ink. Okay, so Dove's Blood Ink is a very, very powerful um, ink that's specif specific for love for bringing in abundance of peace. It's great, it's great for protection. It's wonderful for, for making things look more beautiful. I mean, you gotta think of the power of a dove. A dove is a beautiful being. You know, it was the dove that, that um, Noah had released to be able to go and see if there was land. If you wanna be able to see your future, if you wanna be able to take a look at what's going on around you, if you wanna see from a higher perspective, if you want to have a, a deep actual connection with somebody, a deep love, this is what you want to use, okay? Now, this Dove's Blood ink is really simple to make, y'all. And all you're going to need for it is you are going to need some cinnamon. Now, we discussed cinnamon before. Cinnamon is great for anything that has to do with protection, speeding up, heating up. It's great for bringing in a vigor. It's great for, for anything that has to do with things moving swiftly. Lee, okay, so if you guys remember in my Dragon's Blood series, I talked about moving swiftly using the coffee grounds, right? So we're still bringing in the same kind of vibration. Do you see what I'm saying here? So it doesn't have to be coffee throughout all of yours, which a lot of Dragon's Blood hold in them. You can switch it up and still take the same vibration okay and you use those coffees are basically it's a bean okay this is a it's, it's a wood it's a bark right so this is great when it comes to anything that you see around you this is great for allowing your future to come into play allowing you to be able to work with your future now this is the reason why I love using cinnamon in this mixture Bay is great for triumph Okay, you want to triumph, you want to be able to win, you want to get it going, darling. Okay, again, like I said, to get a vantage point from above, see what needs to be changed, what you need to do, right? Where you need to go, what you need to act upon. This is what the bay brings in to the equation. The next thing we're going to be using is a rose. Now, rose is one of the per most perfect botanicals that you will ever, ever work with, okay? So the gold would be um, the, the minerals, and a rose would be the botanicals and those equivalents. So if you want to bring in a perfection, if you want to bring in also a protection into it, if you want to be able to bring in a, a, a loving energy, if you're a being that likes to work with love forces, right, this is a wonderful way of you being able to bring that into the mixture. Okay, so what are we going to do here? So we are just going to take some of our cinnamon. So I'm just dropping some cinnamon sticks into there. The next thing we're going to be doing is taking a bay leaf or two, breaking it up, and also dropping it into the mix. And last but not least are some rose petals. So we're going to take some rose petals and we're just going to crush them and place them into here. Again, we're using isopropyl here. We're not using uh, rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol has a water content in it. Isopropyl is all alcohol. And what this does is it allows for the resins that you're using, it's going to allow for that to break down and actually infuse with the isopropyl, which is what you want to create real dragon's blood, dove's blood, or bat's blood. All right, so now we're just going to pour the isopropyl in here. There we go. We have closed this off tight. Put the lid on your isopropyl, darlings, because it will evaporate. You need to make sure that this is very, very tight, okay? You can add some more isopropyl to it and get the amount that you want and just continue adding the dragon's blood as necessary, as needed. But you just want to infuse this 
with the vibrations without using the oils that will not infuse with the isopropyl. Okay? So, there you have, you need an emulsifier to be able to put oil into liquids, okay? Or into waters. And I will be doing a video on how you can do that and use that, but this is the most simple way without having to use oil and still getting the same results. All right, so we are going to let this steep for, I've let them steep before for 24 hours. I've let them steep for a fortnight. So we are going to let this steep and we are going to come back and finish up our dragon's blood. Blessed be my witches, my spiritualists, and welcome back. So it has been 24 hours and I am now getting ready to do my dove's blood. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, I just finished doing my dragon's blood, and I just wanted to show you the spoon. I want you to see how strong, using the correct ingredients, how you can actually see it turned the resin into a liquid. And then when you try to add water to it, what ends up happening to wash it, it literally solidified and it hardened onto the spoon. That's what I'm talking about when I'm saying the difference between rubbing alcohol, which has a water content in it, and isopropyl that doesn't. It keeps them in a liquid form. So when you're writing on your any kind of magical petition, what ends up happening is that once it starts to dry, it kind of comes like this, which is powerful. Now, I also wanted to show you this. Take a look at the color of that. That is what dropped off. It's so dark. It's so dark. And I love using the amber bottles because you can see on what stage it actually is at with its disintegration into the isopropyl. So this is what I'm talking about, my witches. This is what, this is the real deal. So now what we're going to be doing is we are going to be taking some of our Dragonia Cinnabari and we're going to be putting this in here and we're going to be powdering this down again, okay? So, I had forgot to put my gloves on both of my hands last time and I have resin stuck all over my fingers. So, I'm going to not forget to do it this time, my witches, my spiritualists. Okay, so I cannot stress the importance of putting the mask on because you really do get a strong scent of the isopropyl and it actually can mess with your respiratory system. So you want to be very, very careful in doing that. All right, so we're gonna take some of the dragon's blood and we are going to take our sieve here and we are going to Pour this into, okay, so I'm just going to move this over here onto the napkin and we are going to start to incorporate these together. I'm going to actually add the rest of this. Because I want this consistency to be very strong. So while this is steeping a little bit, I'm just going to take a paper towel here and I am going to just wipe this out. Now the reason why I'm just wiping this out and I'm not going into the kitchen or washing it out is for the simple fact is I don't want any water in this. Okay. When I was making the dragon's blood, there was coffee grounds in it. Still, and that's perfectly fine because the coffee grounds aren't really going to do very much. However, the water can actually ruin your inks. So you want to keep as much water out of this as possible. Okay, don't forget the top. I am loving the consistency of this. Oh, it's fantastic. And there's still some that is not disintegrated into the 
isopropyl. So that's really good too because what that tells me is though I already like the consistency of this. Oh, spilling it everywhere my witches. Although I already like the consistency of this, I now know that it's going to be a little bit thicker once everything has melded together. Okay, so because I know that it is the consistency that I want and there's some left, some left, I still feel comfortable enough to add a little bit more of the isopropyl in here just to top that up. I'm going to put the top on this now. Alrighty, my witches, my spiritualist, and there you have it. You have your Dove's Blood Ink, and Dove's Blood Ink is wonderful when it comes to anything to do with love, when it comes to understanding, when it comes to any vibration that has to do with the higher self coming in, the divine forces, love, and what have you. God is love. All right, my witches, my spiritualists, that is our episode for today. If you have not pressed subscribe, you know you need to press subscribe. Join the Witch Please family and do not miss out on a thing. You can follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, as well as Facebook. You can always send me a personal email at witchpleaseofficial at gmail.com or you can leave a comment below. Don't forget to press that bell icon so you're notified when a new video comes out because you know you don't want to miss a thing. I said it before, my witches, my spiritualists, and I'll say it again. It is a pleasure to have you in my world. It is an honor to have you in my magic. And you are always in my heart. I will see you again on another episode of Witch. Please. <laughs> I love you, boo-boos. Bye-bye.